Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson. Welcome back dudes. We're playing Clash Royale today. You guys, we're gonna be checking out some of the top dudes from the, I don't wanna say leaderboards, but the guys from the uh, top of the seasons. Every When we have seasons, these guys really push and it resets and these guys try to make it to the top, fighting everyone else. This guy from Nova Esports has made it to the top and I wanted to get some of his replays to show you guys how competitive how competitive it is up there with these guys fighting like that. I don't know how to say his name pr properly. I believe it's Gonic. I hope I didn't butcher that, but uh, he came into my clan and he showed me some of these replays. He had a lot of fans too. I'm like, hey, you guys came to see me? Oh, I guess not. So he showed me some replays. I thought it was pretty cool. And now I get to show you guys because I've also actually joined Nova as well. And I will be showing you guys some of my replays using a maxed out account. And I don't know, maybe I can push up really high. It seems like it's easy enough when you have a maxed account. You just gotta grind. <laughs> All right, so uh, it looks like um, the bowler's in play on the enemy side. I don't want I hate saying enemy, but he's just fr from Arab Union. Arab Union, I'm sorry. Maybe you're not the enemy. You're just fighting really hard to get the same spot to get to the top as well. Uh, but the thing about this is I wanted to go ahead and mention to you guys that uh, I think a lot of people will notice when you're pushing to the top, there's a lot of win trading. And I believe what that means is when you have someone you know, uh, you guys can both lose or win and trade, win trade, and it doesn't really hurt your score. So I think that's going on a lot in the game. And so they wanted me to mention that uh, Gonic here did not do that. He didn't participate in that. He was legit and pushed his way to the top. Um, I can't really say that I've seen it, but from the replays, I've seen him pushing against other people in different clans. So I believe him. And my props go to him because it's, it's really hard fighting your hardest to get to the top like that. So we are going to check out and see how this guy did it. Oh dang. Alright, so I have my grievances with the game. I think there's some cars that are stronger than others. Some compositions are better than others. Like these freaking elite barbs. I thought these guys sucked when they first came out. Turns out, these guys are a pain in the butt. They just run for your tower. And there's kind of like one on the side squeezes in. <laughs> they squeeze in. Oh man, you guys, it's coming down to the wire. Oh, there we go. Looks like Gonic took it. That was the first round. Let's go to the next one. All right. So now we have Gonic versus Hazard. And he's from Indian Union. These guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man, he better do something. See, that's that's the thing. See how he started off? He did not have the right cards for that push and the Hog Rider got a double hit in. That can mean a lot, you guys. Just like two hits. Change the whole game because it's, you know, so, a lot of my battles come down to neck to neck. Neck and neck. We'll have to see if he can do anything here. Looks like they're using the same composition except uh, I see Elite Barbs. That is so strange. The new meta is barbs now. Elite barbs. These guys do some serious damage. Oh, he got in. Okay, he got in. Good. We have the elite and the hog push. Oh, no. He's getting away. Don't let that. Whoa. Wow. I'm amazed at it too. How did he get two elite barbs and the hog rider? Still was able to get to the tower. Whoa! People are cheating. People cheering for Hazard. Let's see if he can do it, man. A lot of pressure on the line when you get that high. When you get to the top like that during these seasons and you want to win. A lot of pressure. So I could say, even from looking at all the cars that a lot of people are using. I think the uh, Ice Golem, Hog Rider, and 
elite barbs are like the top right now. Um, and it doesn't look like I haven't seen anyone using the um, electric wizard. Maybe uh, they're still experimenting with him, or maybe he needs to be <coughs> reduced <laughs> so that he's only three elixir. And that's just my opinion. Maybe not. I know Supercell tests these characters out a lot before they release them. So maybe it's just a matter of uh, figuring out a composition for him. Whoa, nice. Nice. That could have actually ruined the day if he didn't nail that. <laughs> Whoa. Man, that sucks. You know, he actually could have lost. If he, if the Hog Rider died before that free spell came out, that would have been completely against him. Very risky. Very risky. Whoa, that's a long free spell. Holy moly. I'm using the free spell now. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Got him. Got him. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys. So the fight continues. Now it is Gonic versus Saddam. He actually wanted me to highlight this battle right here. Um, highlight this. Let's see how it goes because this is another strong dude. I think I saw Saddam. He was up there with... Uh, I think he's, I saw him in like in the top three position. Ooh man, that reminds me, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be recording stuff like this of top dudes uh, from Nova Sports because I have joined the team, and I will be uh, kind of like uh, commentating some of the top gameplays because I love even with Clash of Clans. I did that with Kings Rock. And I still do. Uh, I still cover the top gameplays so that you guys can see what it is like at the top, what it is, how it is up at the top, and what the battles look like. Because I really just like, I sit back and learn from this stuff. I learn what compositions can I use, what is the best troops out there that get the job done. You know, it's funny is whenever I learn what the best troops are, I try it out and it never works out. I always die. I'm like, how the heck do you guys use this? Maybe I'm just different. I use different strategies. All right, elite barbs are played. They're running for it. Look at that. One was pulled, one was not. Oh no. He's out, he's out, he's out of elixir. Oh, that is so clutch, that sucks. I'm using the free spill now. Dang, look at how much damage. All right, new meta, free spill. Everybody, you saw it first. You saw it first. Whoa. All right. Uh, so it looks like it's even. The elixir, elixir battle is pretty much even. Here we go. It's coming down to the wire. Saddam's not far behind. He's trailing, but he's not far behind. He's got uh, some damage on the tower. Whoa. Nice. Nice. Hog Rider went nowhere. That was just a waste of elixir. Hog Rider died. He died it before he could go anywhere. Here we go. Hopefully the minions, the minions will actually, they might go for the tower. Yep. Dang, that sucks. That sucks so much. I feel for Saddam, man. He can't get in. He can't get in, especially with that free spill. Dudes, this is it. It's coming down to 10 seconds left over. I think he's got it. <laughs> Zapped. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, very close. All right, you guys. So, you dudes, that is the <laughs> the battle for the top. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more of this stuff, I'll try and cover it myself and get in there as well. Thank you guys for watching. This is Godson, and I will see you next time. Godson out.